Hi, Dwayne Benson here with Local Interview TV. Thanks for joining. Today we're talking about how to find a great business tax expert. And uh, our expert today is Richard Dorigetti. He comes to us with over 25 years of experience in taxation, uh, specifically business and complex uh, taxation issues. And uh, Richard, we appreciate you taking time out to be with us today. Thanks for joining us. Dwayne, it's a pleasure to be here to visit with you. Well, Richard, the big question we'd like to ask you today and get your uh, expertise on is when somebody's looking online for a tax preparer for their corporate or their business tax return, uh, what should they look for when they're uh, looking for a really good business tax expert? The two main things is education and experience. Uh, with education, I would say they need a minimum of a uh, master's degree in tax law. The code 17,000 thin pages, it changes every day. And without that background, you'll never know how to structure people's situations to save the most taxes possible. As far as uh, experience, I would say five to 10 years. Uh, may sound long, but even the world's greatest brain surgeon had to learn on somebody and you don't want to be that somebody. Oh, I appreciate that advice. Um, I, th I think I absolutely agree with the experience issue. You never want to be the one uh, that the tax guy's learning and uh, just beginning with. You, you want somebody that's seasoned, that knows what they're doing and can really help you save everything uh, they legally can. So my next question is, when somebody comes to uh, Dorgetti Advisors, what kind of experience can they expect to have coming to your firm? Well, first of all, you work with me. So you have a person with 25 years experience, vast education, uh, has taught taxation at Utah State University. Uh, I don't have nice tax returns down to some uh, intern or somebody just down to school with the old verbiage. Uh, I'll be sure to review it when it's done. So you're going to be working with somebody that knows what they're doing. They got the experience and the education, and they're also using the best software available. I mean, our software is updated daily sometimes. And at the end of every tax season, your return will be run through. We shut the office down. We run them through and fix all the things where the IRS has changed forms, where the laws have changed during tax season to make sure they're done right. Well, my next question is, what should somebody expect from their tax preparer? What, what, what other things should they expect from them? There's four things you want from your tax preparer. Uh, anybody can come in and put the numbers on the forms. And that a lot do. The three things that you really need are somebody that will pry you for deductions that you didn't think about. Okay, they know your situation. They've read your returns. They work with other people in similar positions. The second thing that people don't get is tax money. Okay, your tax preparer should be doing it all year round, reading weekly Washington, D.C., notices and, and their monthly tax planning journals. And that tax planning, that takes one-fifth of the time, saves you 10, 100, 1,000 times whatever you pay them. And lastly, you want that return prepared accurately. Okay, you don't want letters from the IRS or any tax agencies. Because even if you win, you lose because you have the time involved, the stress involved, and the cost to get through it. So what most people are getting is their numbers put on the form. It's those three other things. Prying, planning, and accuracy that you want to look for. All right. So what would be the best way for somebody to contact your office uh, to set up an appointment or to come uh, and visit and uh, discuss their taxes with you? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Well, the best way to get a hold of me is either telephone me, which is 435-213-2536, or just get on the Internet and type, Richard Dorgetti Advisors. And don't worry about the spelling because Google will prompt you. All right. Well, thank you, Richard. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to be our guest on this uh, episode today. And thank you for joining us. Dwayne, thanks for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to visit with you. All right. Well, thanks. And uh, join us next time on Local Interview TV. Thanks.